what's up everyone welcome back my name is Leanne Epp and this is my channel DIY Beauty on Purpose today we have for you some really exciting DIYs that you're going to love you can find these bicycle wreath forms at Dollar Tree all the time now I'm going to take one and spray paint it with this white rust-oleum spray paint it's in the glossy finish I usually do matte but it's what I had on hand I'm just going to give it one pretty heavy coat and then let it dry I am then going to take it inside and I'm just going to start taking some of these eucalyptic picks. I'm going to spread them into two separate bundles and then I'm going to add some of these other grassy picks that I already had on hand. Again, I'm just going to cut a few of the grassy portions of it and then we're going to tie them together towards the bottom of the wreath form. We're going to create a nice, beautiful, fresh looking spring wreath. Once I had them bundled to the bottom, I'm going to take this jute string. I like to loop it on one end thread the jute string through itself and then just wrap it around tightly until it's nice and secure this is going to give me a nice tight secure hold but also give me a place where i can place some florals because i do want to add some color before we add the florals i do want to add some of these lambs here again just to add some fullness and a different shade of green that's just going to make it nice and full i'm going to do the same thing add some jute string and tie it all the way around to secure it in place these peonies I get in a bundle. I get them all the time, especially the pink shade because it is just gorgeous. It's one of my favorite flowers. And I'm just going to thread them right through the same jute string that I had on there. Nice and tight. We're almost done. I do want to add some nautical row from Dollar Tree to the top of the wreath form. I'm just going to find the center and I'm just going to thread it within each other. No technique or anything. Just a simple knot is fine. And then we're just going to cut it with enough length of the nautical rope so that we can hang it in place and then that's it for this one i think it turned out so adorable i love the colors i love how fresh it is and i love that it's so simple anyone can do this and you can do this with any florals you have on hand doesn't matter which one one of my favorites from today For the next spring craft, I am going to take this planter that you can actually find at any store, actually. This one is from Dollar General, but I've seen them also at Dollar Tree. I'm going to drill a few holes on every side of this planter, and I'm going to keep them in a pattern that's going to match each side because we are going to create a lantern with it. Then I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm just going to scuff up and sand and smooth each side on the outside as well as the inside. That way it's going to remove a little bit of that sheen that the planter had because I want to spray paint it. But before we do that, I want to drill a hole on top and then I'm going to take one of these eye hooks and I'm going to cut off most of the threaded portion because I do want to screw it in from the top. But I don't want it to stick out too much on the inside because we still want to put a light inside of it. I took it outside and I'm going to spray paint it with the same spray paint from earlier. It has a nice gloss finish. So for this one, it works really well. And I'm going to give it one and a half coats, one pretty heavy coat, and then a second one where it needs it. And of course, we want to let it fully dry. And I did do the inside as well. Now this light is from Dollar Tree. It's one of those push lights and it does require some batteries. Really easy, just place them in and it works perfectly fine. I'm going to distress the lantern using some Waverly Chalkman in the ink tone and a makeup sponge. I'm just gonna dab here and there in the corners and the edges just to add some dimension. You do not have to do this step. It is completely optional, just what I preferred, but you can definitely leave it white as it was. And of course we wanna let this fully dry so we don't get messy. I'm going to bring in one of these uh, basket hanging chains from Dollar Tree. They come three in a set and I just like to separate them and use them in many different ways. So I'm just going to take one out and this is what we're going to use to create a hanging portion for the lantern. And we're just going to clip it right onto the um, eye hook. Here's the light. It works perfectly fine. We're going to remove the sticky portion from the back, just a little paper covering it, but I am going to add a whole bunch of hot glue as well because I want it to really stick in there. And once I had a ton of glue on it, we're just going to press it right in on the bottom. And that way we can turn it on and off by just simply pushing on it from the bottom. 
and i want to add some florals to it now it could be left just like this but i did want to add a little bit of embellishment so i'm going to add some of these leafy greens they look like lamb's ear they have the same texture and color and i'm just going to hot glue into the top here and there until i see kind of like what i like to see and then i am going to add one of those pink peonies that i added earlier from the wreath again just to add some color and some beautiful pink tones perfect for spring and even summer and we're just about done with this one look how stunning this light is i can't tell you enough how much i love this one it's definitely one of my favorites from today i love it This next spring craft, I'm going to start with this Target Dollar Spot crate. I love finding these because they're just so good quality and good size. Now for the sides, I want to stain it. I'm going to use the brown tone glaze from Rust-Oleum. This is just going to add as a stain and it's water based so it has no strong scent and it dries really quickly because it's not oil based. I'm just going to wipe it on and then remove any excess as needed. For the rest of the crate, I'm going to dry brush some white paint. This is Rust-Oleum chalked bin in the linen white and i'm just going to do like a heavy dry brush and i'm going to do it in the front the back as well as the inside and each side my friends i know you know this but for those who do not i always have my amazon store linked down below in the description box if i mention that i get anything on amazon like this brush that i'm currently using chances are it is in there so check it out it is linked below I decided to add a stencil to the front and the back. Now this stencil is from A Maker Studio. They have reusable mesh stencils and I'm just gonna add the little bunny portion of it. I'm not looking for perfection because I am going to heavily distress it, but I am going to have a link down below in the description box where you can find these stencils and all the other supplies and that way you can get them if you'd like. I did the stencil in the front and the back and then I'm just gonna distress everything to smooth it out and make it look like it all belonged together. In the front, I'm going to use my electric sander because I do want it to have a very distressed, almost faded look so that it looks like it belonged to the crate all the way from the beginning. I dusted it and wiped it really, really well. And now I want to add some uh, nautical rope. This is the white one from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to start by high gluing and then just hot gluing here and there where it needs it. And I'm gonna wrap the handle all the way to the other side. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. And I have those links down below in the description box. When you are done watching, I would love for you to check them out. Again, they are linked down below. When I reach the other end, I make sure that I hot glue quite a bit. That way it's make sure it's gonna be nice and secure. Now it's time to add some florals to the inside. I'm gonna take this foam floral from dollar tree and i'm going to just cut it in half long ways and i'm going to hot glue it to the bottom of the crate this is going to make it so much easier to be able to add florals as needed once i had that in there it's time to add some moss this is just going to cover up all that area in the inside and that way when we add some of these picks that i have uh, these are just some faux boxwood picks that i get on amazon that way it's just going to be nice and covered and just look full it is a nice large crate so i want to make sure it has fullness so I'm just going to start adding each pick separately, adding them here and there until it looks nice and full. And then I'm just going to add some yellow flowers that I got at Walmart. And we're just about done with this one. Another beautiful, I love the yellow tone. I love yellow for spring and summer. I just think it just adds such a vibrant color and feel to any room. This one's definitely a beautiful one. For this next spring craft, I am going to take this piece of scrap fabric that I already had on hand, has those yellow tones that I was just talking about. I'm gonna cut it in strips and then I'm gonna wrap it around this tiny uh, wire wreath form from Dollar Tree. These are the smaller ones. And I'm just gonna start by hot gluing it here and there and then just adding the strips all around again hot gluing where it needs it now i'm just going to cut off any frays here and there just to clean it off 
Now I had this crafting uh, chicken wire that I get on Amazon. It's so much easier to work with. I'm just gonna start cutting to make sure that I have enough to cover the center, but not overflowing on the outside. So I'm just gonna use my wire cutters and then I'm just going to attach the, uh, the chicken wire with some hot glue to the back of the wreath form. I am going to add a lot of glue because I really want this to really stick on. So once I had it in place, I'm just gonna keep adding hot glue and making sure it is nice and secure. And then once the chicken wire was fully attached, I am going to clean it up by just cutting off the excess chicken wire. That way it's not sticking out. Then I'm gonna add some nautical rope. This is the brown tone one, and I'm just gonna hot glue it to the back, kind of like to the back and to the side. That way it kind of has a nice rounded look. And hot glue was plenty sufficient because it's not heavy at all. And then I wanna add some florals. These florals are also yellow to complement the nice, beautiful color on the fabric. I'm gonna cut them in smaller picks, and I'm just gonna add them here and there through the chicken wire just to hold them in place and that way it's just going to look nice and chic and not have to add any ribbon for anything it's just going to be held by the chicken wire and that's it for this one such a beautiful wreath it's small but boy is it beautiful for the next spring craft i'm going to start with this little wooden box that you can find in the crafter square aisle at Dollar Tree. I'm going to crisscross two lines from corner to corner on the bottom and I'm going to drill a hole right in the center where those lines meet. Then I'm going to drill a hole on a small dowel that I got. This one is from Walmart but they do have similar ones at Dollar Tree. Very carefully I'm going to drill this hole. I'm going very slow because I want to make sure that I'm not going to hurt my hand. I'm then going to add a screw right through the inside of the box through the hole and into the dial and then just screw it in we're going to create a little topiary with this box this dial as well as a terracotta pot from dollar tree now i am going to add some hot glue to the inside of the box and some floor foam because we are going to add some flowers here in just a few then we're going to move on to the terracotta pot we're going to add some pieces of the same floor foam just pushing it here and there because I want to make sure that I have enough to place the dial in. I'm going to paint the box in this beautiful white. This is Rust-Oleum Chalked Bin in the linen white. And I'm just going to do the outside of the box and a little bit of the inside. And then once that was dry, I'm just going to press the dial in side of the foam to keep it nice and snug in there. Then we're going to cover it up that foam using some moss. I'm going to hot glue it here and there. This moss is from Dollar Tree. It's going to cover it up and just add a little bit more of a spring summer feel. These sunflowers are from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut off the excess stem and press one towards the left side of that bottom pot. And then I'm going to add another sunflower to the top box towards the right side of the box to kind of keep it in contrast from the bottom one. I'm gonna add some extra leafy greens just to add fullness. And that's about it for this one. I gotta tell you, it is definitely one of my favorites they're all my favorites who am i kidding <laughs> i just love this one i think it's so easy so simple to make anyone can do this you're gonna have to let me know which one is your favorite obviously i can't choose but i'd love to know which one is your favorite let me know down in the comments i'm gonna have another video here with tons more of inspiration for you check it out i'll see you later and have a blessed day bye